Here in the i button and in the description box below, you will get complete playlist of Fourier transform. Welcome to video number 20 and in this video we are going to see what is convolution theorem for Fourier transform and we are going to prove this theorem also. Okay. So before I start this video, I would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of Fourier transforms with your friends. Okay. If you are doing this, you are going to support me. You are supporting me indirectly. Yes. So what is convolution for, uh, theorem for uh, Fourier transforms? That is the convolution of two functions that is f of x and g of x over the interval minus infinity to plus infinity is given by how to read this? Yes, convolution of f of x and g of x. Okay. This is read as convolution of f of x and g of x equals to integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of u into g of x minus u du. Okay. Yes. On solving this, you will get function of x. Okay. That is known as h of x. Okay. Yes. So, the Fourier transform of convolution of f of x and g of x is the product of their Fourier transform. Okay. We are going to prove this. The Fourier transform of convolution of f of x and g of x is the product of their Fourier transform. That is, Fourier transform of convolution of f of x and g of x is equals to Fourier transform of f of x into Fourier transform of g of x. And in this video, we are going to prove this. Okay. Let us try to prove. But you need to know one formula. Okay. And the formula is, yes, that is convolution of f of x and g of x is equals to integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of u into g of x minus u du. Now we'll start proof. We have f of for the transform function that is f of x equals to integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into e to the power i s x dx. Okay, this is the for the transform of any function that is f of x and that is equals to integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into e to the power i s x dx. Okay, now we'll take the left hand side part. Okay, that is for the transform of for the transform of convolution of f of x and g of x. This is equals to yes, we have the formula of convolution of f of x and g of x that is integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of u into g of x minus u du okay it means if you are finding for the transform of convolution of f of x and g of x it means you are finding for the transform of this integration that is integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of u into g of x minus u du okay yes now applying the formula that is for the transform of f of x equals to integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into e to the power i s x dx okay but here the function f of x is what this integration okay so here we have integration minus infinity to plus infinity in place of this function we are going to write this integration that is yes within this curly bracket we have this function okay that is integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of u into g of x minus u du okay yes e to the power i s x into dx now we will change the order of integration okay here we have this integration is for u and this integration is for x okay now we are going to change the order of integration but you can see one thing that is the uh, the limit for u is minus infinity to plus infinity and the limit of uh, limit for x function x is again minus infinity to plus infinity okay it means on changing limit is not going to change okay so this is going to be on changing the limits okay on changing the order okay that is first we need to integrate with respect to x thereafter will uh, integrate with respect to u so if you are integrating with respect to x so f of u will become constant so we can take this f of u out of this okay integration so this is going to be integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of u because we are integrating with respect to x and f of u is constant okay so f of u into yes integration minus infinity to plus infinity g of x minus u e to the power i s x because this is a function of x and this also function of x okay into dx then after solving this integration we will yes integrate this with respect to u okay yes now here you can see we are going to put okay that is x minus u equals to t Okay, so x minus u equals to t on differentiating we will get dx equals to dt. Fine. And if you want to find what is x, then x equals to t plus u. Simply take this minus u here, you will get x equals to t plus u. Okay. So coming to the integration part. Okay, that is this part. Okay. 
integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of u okay now this part will become integration minus infinity to plus infinity because on putting upper limit in place of x t is infinity and now on putting lower limit that is minus infinity here t will become again minus infinity so again changing uh, the variable okay that is uh, x to t the limits are not changing okay it means again we have to integrate this function with respect to t and limit is from 0 to infinity so minus infinity to plus infinity fine yes here we have g of x minus u that is t g of t and here we have e to the power i x i s x and in place of x we need to write t plus u okay so it is e to the power i s t plus u and in place of dx we need to write dt okay now simply close this bracket write du okay yes so this is integration minus infinity to plus infinity this is f of u no change here now this can be written as okay that is integration minus infinity to plus infinity g of t now this can be written as e to the power i s t into e to the power i s u d u okay now d t okay e to the power i s t into e to the power i e to the power i s u into d t after closing this bracket you can write d u here okay now again you can see yes here we have e to the power i s u which is independent of t so we can take this here that is integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of u into e to the power i s u okay yes now we can write this part okay that is integration minus infinity to plus infinity g of t into e to the power i s t dt now closing this bracket you can write du okay now what we can do here okay yes this part is very 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 important now here you can see integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of u into e to the power i s u du okay and this part is as it is that is integration minus infinity to plus infinity g of t into e to the power i s t dt okay now we are going to use okay use this that is using the property of definite integrals we can change the variable okay here the variable is u we are changing this variable from u to x here again the variable is t we are changing the variable from t to x so this is going to be integration minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into e to the power i s x dx here again it is going to be integration minus infinity to plus infinity g of x into e to the power i s x dx okay now what is this this is for the transform of f of x now what is this this is for the transform of g of x hence proved okay this is the rhs part so finally we can say we have proved this part okay that is Fourier transform of convolution of f of x and g of x is the product of their Fourier transform that is Fourier transform of convolution of f of x and g of x equals to Fourier transform of f of x into Fourier transform of g of x okay thank you thank you so much